And look at them doing their Yogi Bears together. Oh, that's really hard to do. We're going to have our first little kiss in the gym. Hey, my little featureenies. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very Challenge. Look at just the general beautifulness going on right now. I love this lot. I don't know how we made things green. I didn't do that. That wasn't a cheat. That had nothing to do with me. But you can't deny that it do be looking very pretty right here. So on the last episode, we started to get Ash meeting some folks for her three three failed relationships that we have to have as part of this challenge. We initially were kind of thinking of pursuing good old Trace here. Oh, it's snowing now. Okay. But then we decided to switch over to Ashley. One, because he feels like a gym nut like us. But two, because Lindsay actually had a huge crush on Trace instead. I wanted to go with him. You guys had suggested it was a good idea because he hates children. So it could be a good reason for us to have a breakup with him. However, Ashley is evil and a kleptomaniac. You know, an evil and he steals. I feel like, again, valid reasons. Very, very valid reasons. So we actually aren't dating him yet. We're going to go on a gym date with him after school this evening. Also, we got £4,000 in child support from good old alien daddy bear. So that is amazing. Money is not going to be a problem in this house ever again. I was like thinking if we got so much money, I should make Saffron retire. However, she's constantly having panicky work withdrawals because she loves her job so much. So no, she will not be retiring. Also, uh, we send Ash off for her first babysitting job over the weekend, but it didn't boost her parenting skill. And I'm actually recording this before the episode that I recorded last time went out, so I can't see if you guys have had any fixes in the comments below, but I will be checking it after this episode goes live, so if any of you have figured out a way, a solution for that, feel free to drop them in the comments here. I will also check on the last episode. I just wanted to do back to back Nox Berry because I was kind of excited for this day in today's episode, so if you guys are excited as well, please go ahead and hit that little cheeky thumbs up button. We are currently on 11 days left as a teenager so we still got a bunch of time to work on all of Ash's skills and also everything that we need to do as part of this challenge and if you think we're making good progress go ahead and let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys never miss a video okay so we're heading into school in a pair of shorts in the snow again alien energy very strong alien energy coming off you right now Ash and because I've got the Kawaii Stacy mod we're gonna be learning a bunch of skills while we're at school so that is pretty amazing making my sims much more well rounded which I like because even if you're like oh I'm really into comedy and like oh I'm really into fitness as a human we're well rounded we tend to have a bunch of skills like just because our charisma is high doesn't mean we don't know how to throw like a stir fry together so I really like that that mod makes my sims much more well rounded and kind of dips their toe into a bunch of different skill sets. Saffron also has work in two hours time we've lost a little bit of our fame I don't actively try and make her famous it just so happens that a bunch of the stuff that she does as part of space gives her fame, such as, I like making their neighborhood feel happy, so I often do Happy Town. That gives you fame. I also like randomly just beaming up a message to alien boyo slash lover, just be like, I don't know where you are, I can't reach you anymore, but please know I love you. And even stuff like exploring space and doing a zero-G workout, which is the coolest one, actually gives you fame as well. Can Saffron do a zero-G workout? Oh my gosh, that is absolute peak alien energy. We will get her on that at some point as well. Oh, and random dude is in our house. Who is Grayson? I do not know who Grayson is, but he's just, just here, so um, that's cool. Also, our pet raccoon aged up into an adult raccoon in the last episode. I'm feeling like there's a real lack of dressing up here, so when uh, we next get chance when Ash is home, I'm Oh, oh, these guys are all aliens. I think that's what happened when I contacted aliens. These guys are all in disguise. No, don't do, don't be doing this. This is not what I agreed. But yeah, next time we've got some free time with Ash, I think we should dress up Pluto. We've had a bunch of dressy up cats as well. What was the name of Mincy's pet? The little mint cat and it had a little mint bow tie. I can't remember. But then we had Digsby with Scarlet who had the little ladybug outfit. And for Saffron, we obviously had um, Taco Cat Laika. So I feel like Pluto needs some kind of iconic wear as well, you know? Oh, and Ashley does want to meet up today. We're meeting up after school. We're going to hit the gym together, okay? Also, Ash and Ashley, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> they got the same name, so yeah. Oh yeah, he really wants to go on a date today. This is good. This is good. Our first failed relationship. Watch me get attached, even though he's a kleptomaniac evil sim. I won't be able to help myself. I just always get attached. This is why so many of my sims end up with their first loves. One, because it's cute and sweet, but two, because I just get attached. I do. Okay, so we've got a school project. Uh, have you eaten yet? I just finished. I've actually haven't. 
and I'm going on a date, Lindsay, so... Thanks for checking in before I head out. We are super stressed because of the thunderstorm. She's actually afraid of thunderstorms. Adorable. And I don't know, maybe you don't get thunderstorms in six and the weather doesn't even change there, so... Could be a part of her, like, alien makeup being like, this is unusual. We're gonna go ahead and bring a little uh, lover boy Ashley. I might go to a gym in a different neighborhood because I'm not enjoying this thunderstorm. So why don't we head our little butts over to Willow Creek and we will go to the Movers and Shakers gym right here. <gasps> and oh my gosh, they're doing a little yoga class in there. <gasps> he signed up for it. He signed up for it. Stop, stop, stop. Get involved in this yoga class. How do I sign up? How do I sign up? Oh, yes. We're going to join this brain boosting yoga class. <gasps> she wanted to practice kissing in front of the mirror. Okay. I feel like that means she definitely wants a first kiss today. But we're joining this little yogi bear class here. Oh my gosh. This is such a vibe. I would love this as a date. Going on a bit of a, a yoga first date is absolutely adorable. Oh, that girl goes to our school. <gasps> Look at... Oh, she's so cute. I know I said I wanted to hide her ears. But one, I loved seeing them. I and two, I feel like she's just owning them at this point. She's just like, oh, yeah, it's just a birth defect. Like, don't make a big deal about it. My brother actually has one, Elfia. I'm really jealous because I wish I had one as well. And look at them doing their yogi bears together. <gasps> look at that beautiful downward facing doll. Oh, look at his. Oh, yes. You know what? That's way harder to do than it looks, by the way. Well done. Saffron's really good at this. But his downward dog. Did you see his heels? His heels were low. He's doing a great job. Oh, my gosh. They're both really good. This is what I mean. I get attached. I get attached to literally literal sims. I get attached to sims and then I find it hard to make them break up. Oh my gosh, I did this one this morning. Oh, a bit of knee bend in there. He's trying though. He's trying, but Saffron's incredible. She's so flexible. Is it that alien connective tissue? I don't know. Maybe it is. <gasps> oh, that's really hard to do. She's a freaking yoga goddess. What? Full on yogi bear here. Full on yogi bear. She's so good. She's so good. I could watch sims do yoga and be like, hmm. Mm, I find that really interesting. He's got a bit of a knee bend, but he's good. He's good as well. But a little pain brain boost in session. I love this for them. <gasps> he gave it a go. That's... Okay, Claire, stop getting attached. Stop getting attached. Stop getting attached. He's evil. He's not your long-term sim. Please don't do this to yourself. It's just going to be pain in the long run. <gasps> Look at this god, though. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, this person's incredible, too. <gasps> Why are you embarrassed? You haven't had an awkward encounter. You're really good. What? Maybe it's because, like, sometimes you get a bit self-conscious when you're doing yoga moves if you know someone's right behind you. Particularly if it's a crush. And they're doing, like, a little bit of a meditation session at the end as well. Brilliant yoga session. Thanks teacher. That was fantastic. Love that. Namaste. Namaste. And feeling inspired from yoga. Oh my gosh. Let's go say hi. Because honestly, that whole date was just a vibe. It was just, has he got tears in his eyes? Dude, don't push your flexibility so hard you get tears. Were you trying to show off in front of Saffron? Oh, oh, were you judging? Oh my gosh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're as bad as him. But we need to work out at a gym venue as well as part of our like fitness thing. Can we um like work out together? We can. Let's do a workout together. Since you know, our entire attraction is based around the fact that we're both buff. So to stop you guys getting into any arguments over him being an evil sim, probably um best that we just get straight straight on to working out, okay? <gasps> Milestone complete, because we got on the little uh, the little weights machine. She's like, oh my gosh, everyone around, he's so stinky. Because like, we need to know future sims. Can I scope? Can I scope this environment while I'm here? Now, sometimes you get the option to scope. Other times you don't. Right now I can't scope, so I can't see like any future sim options. Again, I'm finding this hard because I genuinely think he's a cutie pie. I do think he's a cutie pie. Even if he is a bit of jockish. Oh yeah, this is the problem. I've got to be really careful because if I leave them to interact, on their own, then they will 100% gain to an argument with each other. It's the one super annoying thing about evil sims, so I have to keep a really, really close eye. And I would like to try and do a first kiss and date today because we need one relationship. We also need to push the limit for one hour while energized and own two pieces of workout equipment at home, which I feel like we have. So, hmm. So since it's so busy out there, I've sent them out here just to like uh, have a little hangout together, shoot some hoops, have a little bit of a catch up. Oh, and just as I say that, she starts to go through a phase. She's feeling very rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority. Okay, that's good because it doesn't actually impact like her relationship with another teen. So that's fine. Shall I try? Shall I reveal Crush? Does that mean Crush on him? I don't know. He's not interested in music at all. So if I ever try and talk about anything other than romance the gym, he's like, nah, music is boring. So yeah, even though she's into music, if I try and talk to him about music, because obviously music lover is one of this generation's like, oh, she keeps saying awkward stuff. Oh! 
Oh, and he's dying of cold. Why have you gone blue? Okay, maybe we take this this inside. Please don't freeze to death. Is it really that cold? Oh my gosh, it is. But yeah, if I try and talk to him about music, he's like not interested. He's like, oh, I don't even listen to music when I work out. Like he's low key not very. They don't have that much in common. He's like, I just listen to Joe Rogan podcasts on my headphones. I don't listen to music. So she's like, huh? Oh, I really like singing. I'm pretty into music, and I'm really worried about him dying. So please take this inside. Thank you. And yeah, he's he's dull. He's like hot but dull. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. But he's a first relationship, you know. He's not marriage material for her in particular. But as a first boyfriend, it's great. So I'm gonna go in a little bit on the romance. The man's also miserable. I don't know why he's so sad. But he's still accepting the romance. So that's nice. And I do have a first kiss option. I'm kind of scared to go for it. Oh no, he's passionate. Okay, this should be good. This should be good. We have a first kiss option. She wanted to have... She was wanted to practice kissing before we even got here. It's late, so we're probably gonna head home. But before we do, we're gonna have our first little... Kiss in the gym, which is just so their relationship, which is super cute. Even if he is kind of a boring douche, it's fine. Oh, yep. And then see what I mean? Straight away, straight away, he's going in on us for something. I don't know what. This is the problem with evil sims. However, since I need three relationships, oh gosh. And now this, they're, they're so awkward. They are literally so awkward. I'm going to see if he wants to make things official. I'll give fake back. Oh my gosh, just ask him. What are you doing? Don't forget witness. Oh my gosh. I just want you guys to be girlfriend and boyfriend, but oh, okay, fair enough. I would also stop just to watch the fight going on in the gym. Somebody clearly didn't wipe down their equipment or they didn't restack all their weights because a fight just kicked out in the gym. Oh my gosh, insufferably tedious conversation. <laughs> this is the worst relationship I've ever seen, ever. Okay, we're finally gonna ask to be boyfriend. I had to do so much more romance to try and undo the nonsense. She also wants to, she wants to be with him, which is concerning. The other thing is he said that he likes Auburn hair which is Lindsay's hair color. Why would you say I like your best friend's like appearance to your girlfriend? So mean, literally so freaking mean. However, but home right now. It's a good job Saffron's such a lax parent because you stayed at the gym till 5 a.m. That's how long it took. How long it took for the op boyfriend options to come up because they kept arguing. <sighs> and spoiler alert, this, this is not, no, this is just not. Staying at a gym till 4 a.m. to try and undo the arguments that your boyfriend picked at you for no reason. Not a good way to start a relationship. But it's fine. Like I said, it's one of our three failed relationships, gang along. And now we get a whole two hours sleep before school. Good job. Didn't do your homework. Didn't do your school project. Didn't do nothing. But hey, at least you have yourself. Boyfriend. Oh, and you don't find him basic looking anymore. But you do hate the guy. <laughs> You have a festering grudge for your new sweetheart boyfriend. Okay, this is just gonna be a complete failure. I kinda also, Loki, I saw Ash is having three kids though. And I do really like the idea. Oh my gosh, you're so tired right now. But I'm gonna have to send you into school. I'm sorry, Ash, off you go. Change out your alien gear. Don't make that mistake just because you're sleepy. Good lass, good lass, good lass. You look really cute. And you're still feeling flirty. I don't wanna go down a teen pregnancy route for her. But at the same time, you know that I like to harvest the DNA of my Sims. That's what I see this whole whole game as a DNA harvest simulator. Why can't you go to school? Oh, it's because Saffron called you to a meal. Now you can't go to school. Saffron, you broke school, babes. You literally broke school. Okay, she's not going to high school. This is really worrying. But yeah, if I saw her in three relationships, I like the idea of having a child from each relationship just so that we can compare the genetics. Thanks, Lindsay. She's congratulating me on the new boyfriend. But at the same time, I don't want to stay in a relationship with evil guy for too long. But I also don't want a teen relationship. I don't know how, a uh, teen baby pregnancy. I don't know how to do this. I generally do not know what the right solution for this is. Saffron's headed to work. Why won't you go to school? Okay, I'm gonna go to the neighborhood and go back again and see if that fixes it. Okay, that worked. That worked. And we got no power. Honestly, Saffron's brain just never remembers to pay the bills, bless it. And we've got a group. Let's try and contribute. I know the classmates aren't gonna do anything. Oh no! Everyone's input. Wow, this is definitely not like group projects in real life at uni. Just putting that out there. Oh, we're not responsible anymore. Honestly, we're just, we're still, we're great C. We're doing fine. Academia is not important for this gen. However, surviving is, so please go get some sleep. And oh my gosh, why do my pets keep getting stuck? Keep getting stuck here. Why are your paws just in the table? Why does this happen to my pets? There's something about this table or this spot that all of my pets just get stuck. 
There you go. You're free. You are free to raccoon around again, little Pluto. And he's off because he's heard that we want to dress him up. Oh, no, he's sleeping next to the pond. Or collapsing. Either way, very cute. And we've earned a raise. That is good because we have no power at home. So can we please fix that? I'm also going to keep donating to um, my mum's cause because she liked the tree. Tree charity. She wanted a greener world. A greener sim world. So we will keep donating to the Speak for the Trees. It'd be nice if all sims in every generation like going forward did this. I just think it'd be real cute. And we also had a flower for every generation as well, apart from Minzy, because she grew the first rose for Scarlet. Scarlet grew, was it chrysanthemums for Saffron? And then Saffron, a bit of a divergent, but grew tentacles for Ash because she is an alien sim. And since your sleep schedule is now royally messed up, why don't you practice some singing? Because we've got to get that to level 10. Currently, it's only level two. So maybe one day as well, you will find yourself someone to love who actually likes listening to your singing. Because Ash doesn't even like the sound of music and I'm not talking about the movie I'm talking about the entire medium so that is a big sag oh and I see you trying to escape the room since we're up to 1am antics I feel like a great 1am antic is dressing up pets hello little Pluto <laughs> Well, how shall we dress you? I feel like we've got to put a collar on Pluto or else people will just think that you're a wild raccoon and be really confused about why you're in the house. So there we go. I'm going to dress it up as grey stuff. <gasps> I can dress you. Oh, it's, it is like um, a butterfly, but it also kind of has alien energy with the little... So there you go. Two outfits. Actually, if one of your outfits doesn't include a cape, then what am I even thinking? Three outfits. There we go. Oh, look at this. Saffron's woken up feeling sad because... Because she isn't enjoying the thought of her little one growing up. It feels like two minutes ago, there was a little alien toddler prancing around the apartment. Actually, Saffron, you didn't really help out that much with that. So, you know, but. And now she's growing up, getting boyfriends, thinking about woo-woos. I don't know. Speaking of woo-woos, honestly, if you guys would like an earlier pregnancy with Ashley, just so that we can harvest his DNA <laughs> and then we can break up, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And we're back on the responsible trait because we actually went to school today. Good job, Ash. Oh, she's up to a B. How are you up to a B? Look at her marching around like, yes, I am on a B grade. I, what? what, what? Oh, look at your muscle definition. Go, what? Girl, you were strong. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Scarlet energy right now. Wasn't Scarlet quite buff? Oh, was it Minzy? One of your ancestors was buff too. We do, however, have ourselves a little minor breakout. Also, we're stressed from school. We don't enjoy school. A little minor breakout. I kind of feel like Ashley might be mean about that. I just get that urge. That urge? Wait, no. That intuition. So I'm going to invite round uh, Lindsay to hang out today instead. Ask her how things are going with Trace. In fact, I'm going to try and encourage them to eat some <laughs> date. Lindsay still has such a great tan. What? My tan's completely gone. Uh, she's like, ooh, it smells good. Go ahead and grab yourself some foodies. You're always welcome to foodies here, okay? And obviously, we're going to be talking about the current boys in our life right now. Which is Ashley and Trace. Look at them. <laughs> I don't know why they just did that, but that was absolutely perfect timing and also adorable. Oh yeah, I forgot that he likes to wear a mafia hat sometimes. And we're like, what do you think of him? We're like official now, we're dating. <gasps> I had my first kiss. It was all very exciting. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. Well, you have, babes, because we all went into the city together, but okay. I'm going to check in on how things are going with... I'm so glad I added us to the family. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known that she had this huge crush on Trace. So I'm going to ask how things are going there. I'm also going to get her to like boast about messing around, which is going to be more like, oh my gosh, we had our first kiss in the gym. We was kissing loads. It was so exciting. We was kissing with our human, human mouths, human mouth parts. I mean, no, mouths, not mouth parts. Alien energy. <gasps> Ashley, can you stop making me think about you? Why do you wear a mafia outfit? Do you moonlight in the gang? Are you actually part of the mafia? Because why else would you wear this? I think he's a criminal. Just to add to the list of peak father of my child vibes, evil, robs, mafia, jerk. Just honestly, it's the whole, the whole shebang is just dreamy not. Um, no, I can't. Trace is already here. What? Okay, well, this is pretty perfect. Why don't we all go and hang out around here? She is the biggest crush in the world on him. She is literally head over heels with him. Look, she's blushing from being around him. She gets red when she's, like, around a super attractive sim, which is so cute. So I want to, like, make this happen. Wow, Lindsay's amazing. You should get to know them. So now those two are tired. They're like, oh, I'd love to get to know her. You guys had this whole... <gasps> Lindsay is great. Trace sounds like a catch. Oh my gosh, they're doing the little... 
cute giddy thing. <gasps> Thanks for setting us up. Trace and I are going out and just call me the matchmaking alien hybrid because that's what I am. Now everyone's in a relationship with everyone. Uh, this is just wonderful. I love this. We need to do double dates. Double dates. But I feel like since I'm dating, you guys are dating, we could go on a double date. Maybe if we do go on a double date, then... I don't know. I really don't know how to play this. If we do that, we could have a hookup? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to stay with Ashley for long, but I need to harvest the DNA, so it's hard. Also, whenever I talk about harvesting DNA, I accidentally sound very alien-like. <laughs> and since he wouldn't stop texting, I've invited him around so we can at least all play a little bit of basketball together. Apparently, we're all really good at basketball. We kind of have a little basketball club going on right now. But at the same time, I don't want to start it as a, an official club. Oh, fitness level nine. Nice. In case or when we do break up with um, Ashley, because then it's just awkward club. Club awkward, and I'm not sure if that's what we want. Oh, and everyone's hanging ho heading home now anyway. Oh, he's going for a jog. But everybody else is heading home. And they had a little uh, protein plate together as well. She's also trying singing. Is he impressed? It's making him blush. She's got a nice voice. It has nice ethereal otherworldly tones oh okay no he's not interested <laughs> we tried guys we tried we tried with the singing now he's just like wow this room smells gross okay bye he literally just left the room he left the room and went for a jog after we serenaded him once okay yeah we're never gonna get him into singing and music i'm afraid guys it's just there's no reality where that happens but i need your guys's advice on what reality does happen she wanted to do wee -woos. should i give into her whims and allow her to do that it it is way younger than any of our other generations, but they all waited till basically they were adults. So what do I do? What do I do, you guys? Let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments below. Next episode, I think I'm gonna go for like a four double date with Trace and Lindsay, since these guys are officially dating as well. Wait, why are you still listed as mean? I removed your mean trait. Why is it still there? Super weird. I don't know why that's still listed. Sometimes that bugs out. If the Sims have that, they will like always have it, which is very annoying but yeah what do we do i want your guys's feedback in the suggestions below i'll probably wait a few episodes irregardless but if you would like her to have her first bubble of and more at the beginning like vibes of her late teens slash early adulthood let me know in the comments below and i hope you guys are still enjoying the series if you are please go ahead and give it a big cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you guys in another episode bye